Sunday. Welcome, everybody. We are about to start the Anton's Antics live show for kids, fame, three on Easter Sunday. So get yourselves ready. Get your questions. Get your comments. Give us a shout out. Tell us where you're from. What city you're from. Are you from the other side of the world? Are you from here in Sydney? Anton will be here soon to share the good news with you about John's Gospel, Chapter 20. Right now, we're just setting up, getting ready to rock and roll. So enjoy the music. And uh, yeah, why don't you hold a watch party on Facebook and invite your friends so they can enjoy this very special episode of Anton's Antics live and free on Facebook. All right, we'll see you soon. Shine a light. How can a tool illuminate the world? How can a death bring life for all? Hey! What? Ah, I think we're almost ready, Stefan. You good to go, Anton? Firm part of free. I like it. What does this mean? This episode Anton gets to be really big. Oh, I been through that. All right. Boys and girls, I think we're ready to go. Show's about to start. Are you ready with your questions, your comments, your shout outs? I'm ready, Stefan. Let's find Anton's music, yes? Huh. We're ready to go. I'm going to get Anton for you. Yeah. Light it up. Light it up, Anton. Light up. Light it up. All right. Yes. Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha. We're here, boys and girls. Let's do it. Oh, it's Anton. La Tukele. Yes, it's Anton. Talk to myself. I say it like this. Let's do a quiz. Cause I'm Anton. It's time for Anton's antics. That's me. It's a Sunday, eh? Huh? Oh, it's Anton. I might get stressed. Yes, it's Anton. We had a big man. I'm a bit crazy, love a French pastry, cause I'm Anton. It's time for Anton's antics, that's me. Get ready for a Bible story from Steve His drawings really are a special treat. Steve's gonna drop a thumping bass line. But don't forget, this show's all about me. Oh, it's Anton. I'm sometimes wrong. Come on, clap to Anton's song. No, I'm quite silly. God still loves me. How's I'm Anton? It's time for Anton's antics. My mama is quite antics. It's time for Anton's antics. But me. Easter Sunday, boys and girls. How did you go? Did you get out into the parks? Did you go around and collect under the sleepy deep, under the, the, the swings, all the eggs, huh? Anton, no, no, no. It is essential. It is necessary to stay home. All the swings, all the sparked, all the, all the little play equipment, it's all tapped up. You cannot go there. What are you talking about? What kind of Easter is it if the boys and girls cannot go to the park, to the church, and collect the Easter eggs from the grounds, huh? What are they talking about? Anton, you've got to stay home. Huh? It is necessary. Stay home. Ah, oh, well. At least you have school holidays, right? In Australia, you get to have nice break. Go away. Enjoy the beach. Do it. What? Anton, no, 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 no. 
It is essential. It is necessary. They stay home. They do not go anywhere in the beach. Do not go anywhere for holiday. Big fines from the police. What? What are you talking about? What kind of Easter is this, huh? We stay at home. We can't do anything. We can't even look for Easter eggs in the local park or the church. What is this? What is going on? Out of Where can we go, huh? Well, we can go to a shop and buy some food. Right? Or hospital. No, thank you. Or uh, get a haircut. Really? Okay. Maybe that's it. Ding! And another idea. I could go. Yes. Pretend to get haircut. And travel wide. I need to see people. I need to see my friends. I need to see you, boys and girls. I need the touch. I need people. I need to see you. I'm trapped in this box, in this cave. It's like a tomb. I need to let the light in. I need to... That's it, boys and girls. Anton will go. No, Anton. It is necessary you stay right here. The big finds you go somewhere. No. Anton must go. Anton must get out of here. He needs to see the light. I'm breaking free. I'm getting out of here. I've got to see my fans. So, Anton, where are you going? This is a show. We've got to do a show right now. No, 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 no. Anton is getting out of here. He's breaking free. But you can't go anywhere. It's, it's a, basically illegal. You get a fine for doing that. No, 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 no. I go get haircut. Haircut is okay. Yeah, but like, I don't even know if they're open today. It's Easter Sunday. Well, I will tell him. I didn't know. Anton, you could get busted big. No, no, I go to beach. I see the fans. They're going to love it. They're going to say, oh, Anton, it's so good to see you. <laughs> so I've missed you so much. I don't think so. Look, don't go anywhere. You're going to get busted. It's going to be a big, big problem. I've got to do the story. Go, go, go and play with the pets or something. Chill out. Come on. Don't cause any trouble today, okay? Ah. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Anton's Antics. So good to see you on this Easter Sunday now. Remind us to get yourself ready as we look at John's Gospel, Chapter 20, as we stream online, get those comments in early. Big shout out to people if you tell us where you're from. I think last time I forgot to give a shout out to somebody from Texas. So to you, I think it was Norma, thank you so much for letting us know you were watching and um, hope you're back for this episode as well. So give us a shout out, get ready as we go deep into fame. Chapter 3. We're going to follow Peter's story. Let's do a little bit of a recap first, eh? Okay? So the first episode, we looked and we met Peter, the disciple, who followed Jesus for like three years. Uh, but then he didn't understand. He didn't know. He didn't get why Jesus had to wash the dirt off his feet. Is that necessary for a leader to do that? For a king of his stature? For someone of Jesus' fame and rising celebrity? We learnt, Yeah. We're all in trouble with God. We're all broken in our relationship with God. And is that bad? We need someone to come and rinse the world clean, like we do now with the virus. Then we went a step further. We saw Peter didn't know, he didn't understand why Jesus would give up his life, why he wouldn't take on the Romans and take the band of soldiers and fight them. And he walked off like a wimp and let himself be killed. Peter did not understand that. He didn't understand why Jesus would allow himself to suffer on a hideous cross. I mean, is that absolutely necessary? That's so barbaric. Is that, isn't that far beneath God to even entertain such an idea? Well, stay tuned. Did it work? What was its reason? Well, we learnt that it was God's love for us that drove him to do it. And today we move to chapter 3, okay, John 20. See, Anton wants to be famous. He wants to be a huge celebrity. What about you boys and girls? It seems like everybody these days wants to be famous. Well, let me show you how you can be part of true fame, eternal fame and celebrity. It's available to you. Just listen in and find out how. Well, we pick up our story on the Sunday after Jesus is killed. It's early in the morning. Now, Jesus was killed on the Friday and his body was laid, taken down the cross and laid in a tomb on the Friday. And on, on the Saturday, they, they couldn't 
finish the burial because uh, it was the Jewish Sabbath day. And so they rested and they left Jesus' body to come back to it later on where they could embalm him with ointments and spices, frankincense, myrrh, that kind of stuff. And the women were the ones who were going to come back and do that. Uh, Joseph of Arimathea had lent, or not lent, but given up his tomb, a rich man, a Jew who believed in Jesus and part of the Jewish council. And he, he gave up his tomb, a, a rich man's tomb, inside Jerusalem for Jesus to have an honourable burial. And so the women, though, were not able to finish it. They come back the Sunday morning um, and they return to go to the tomb and finish embalming and anointing Jesus' body. Now they saw on the day Jesus was buried, on the Friday, where he was buried. They saw the place where Joseph of Arimathea's tomb was. And so they knew where to go. They get up very early on the Sunday morning before the sun has risen and they go down to the tomb and they, they're wondering how they're going to get in because there's a big stone in front of it. Only when they get there, something's happened. Something has changed. You see, they look and they see that the tomb is open. The stone's like a door off its hinges. There's nothing there. Nobody is there. No one at all, literally. And so they run back. Mary Magdalene, we're told, runs back to the disciples. She knocks on the door and she says to them, come, come quickly. Uh, we, we don't know what's happened to Jesus' body. As if this wasn't bad enough that they've killed him. Now they've moved him. They've taken him. They've, they've done something to him further to make us even more ashamed. Now, there were two disciples who heard that message, Peter and another one called the disciple whom Jesus loved. We think that's John who wrote John's gospel. And John and Peter set off towards the tomb. They know where it is. They go down through the, the city streets. You know, dogs just waking up. The sun just starting to peer over the horizon here. And they head off through the streets, cats waking up, chickens just starting to get out of bed, through the darkness, and they come to the place of the tomb. Well, actually, John starts running, Peter starts following, and John's a bit quicker. John gets there, and he's running, he puts out a good sprint, and he makes it to the tomb ahead of Peter. He's able to look and see what on earth has been going on? And he arrives first and stoops down. He stoops down and looks in to see what's been going on. And he literally sees exactly what the women have been saying, that there is nobody there. In fact, what he sees is the grave clothes the grave clothes of Jesus, lying there, neatly wrapped up on the ledge where Jesus would have laid. Now, Peter. Peter's running after John, a little bit behind. He's not as quick. And Peter eventually comes to the tomb, running, huffing and puffing, trying to catch up with, with John and Peter barges past goes cracking straight into that, that tomb and he looks down what does he see? just as the women have said he sees nobody there just the grave clothes of Jesus lying there on the ledge. And he's confused. You know, what does this mean? What does it mean? Why is Jesus' body not there? He picks them up and he sees 
something else. He sees the washcloth, the, the headband of Jesus also lying there separately, rolled up neatly. Now, if someone had taken the body, why would they take these things off? If someone wanted to rob Jesus' body, well, you wouldn't worry about unwrapping him. You'd just run off with him, wouldn't you? You'd just run off and grab it and run. And Jesus, it seems, is no longer there, nowhere to be seen. Peter and John look down in amazement. John looks and he sees it and he believes. But Peter, he doesn't know. He doesn't understand what is going on, what could possibly have happened here. You see, they didn't understand the scripture which said it was necessary for this to happen. It was necessary for Jesus to come and die. It was necessary for him to give up his life. Jesus had been telling them this. He'd been saying the scripture says, this is actually stuff you should know from your own Jewish Bibles. It's there in the scriptures that the Christ, the King, has to come and he must give up his life. He must be treated badly and he must suffer for the sins of the world. Now, is it really that bad that, it, that God's son has to come and suffer such a horrible death? Is it, couldn't it be done another way? Is it really necessary that we have to stay home, that we can't go to the beach, that we have to not go to school, that we have to miss out on Easter egg hunts with our church family and all that sort of stuff? Well, right now, the world is looking at a, an enormous bailout package, isn't it? Financially, uh, health but there's a bigger one that we face even when the virus passes. And the world's had viruses before. The world's had pandemics before. The world's had plagues. The world's had financial collapses like this before. God willing, we will see the back of it. But it won't mean that we've seen the back of our biggest challenge, the biggest hole we're in. It won't mean that we've escaped Our biggest challenge. You see, Peter didn't know. He didn't understand how deep the hole he was in, or, or John or any of the world for that matter. God did. You see, when we reject God, when we walk away from him, we, we, we offend him. And it's right for him to punish. It's right for him to judge for the way we treat him and each other and the world. It's not fair for him to punish someone else, uh, punish the environment, punish the dolphins, punish the New Zealanders. It's not enough. It's not big enough. We need something big and something just. And so the only way, really, is for God to take it on himself. And it is God's son who takes on that debt that we owe God. He comes and willingly gives up his life because it is necessary. But how do we know it actually worked? How do we know that this is the biggest bailout, the biggest rescue plan of all time for all of humanity? See, we need a rescue plan now for us in this generation, but this rescue plan was for all humanity, everyone, every nation, Scottish, American, French, Italian, Australian, Korean. How do we know it worked? How do we know it was the biggest? Because... Jesus' grave clothes are left behind because the tomb is empty, because Jesus is risen. That means he did achieve what he set out to do. It was necessary and he paid the price and it was effective. It covered our wrong, which means eternal life is ours. Just like when, you know, Peter washed the feet, Jesus washed the dirt away. Well, this is the moment we know the dirt is gone, that we're free and that his fame and his kingdom is ours. The biggest fame, the biggest celebrity of all time, has died for us and made his celebrity, his fame, our fame. If we choose to follow and trust him, what will you do, boys and girls? Will you follow the biggest celebrity of all time? I pray you do this Easter and I pray you share him with your friends. Well, you may have some questions, you may have some comments you might want to give us a shout out. Happy Easter to you all. Um, great question the other week. 
uh, that I had, and I tried to answer it in today's show. So thank you for that. It was after the show. And um, we're going to move forward. We're going to move forward to a whole new segment, which is our rapper, Skeeto, who has got a wonderful song for us to engage with. So get yourselves up, get yourselves ready. I'm going to get some beats on. Let's see here. All right. Hang on one second. <laughs> there we go. All right, guys, we'll see you soon. Oh, let's do it. It's Sunday. How y'all doing out there, folks? Stuck at home, all alone. Well, yeah. Is it necessary? Is it essential? Is it necessary? I'm in school. Is it necessary? I stay home. Is it necessary? I start work. Is it necessary to be alone? All right. Is it necessary? What up? Is it necessary to stay home? Is it necessary to miss school? Is it necessary to meet my job? Is it necessary to be alone? I got a voice for you that is necessary. Let's do it. All right, code. What are you thinking here? Binary? I'm going this way. All right, wait a minute. Looking good. No, we got it, it's working. Yeah, though your scenes are oh. like yeah, oh. L Scarlet They Will Be As Snow Where's it from? Isaiah 1 AD Isaiah 1 18. That's right. It was necessary because your sins and my sins are like scar. How can my sins be white as snow? Only with the biggest, only with the biggest bailout plan of all time. Let's do it. You ready? Yeah! People mob you in every place They all wanna see your face I leave my job, it's on the line Next to you, everything will be fine What you say, what you do Can't be anyone else but you You're the biggest, you're the badass And now you're caught like a tragedy one of us 12 is not your homie What you're doing and what you're saying Makes no sense but I'm not in the way Come on, you're going to bed now Say let me take this heat tonight You could have been famous, you could have been big Threw it all away, that's what it did You're the biggest, you're the baddest Your name's on everything, so let's shout it You're the biggest, you're the baddest So let's 
Shout, shout. You shout it too, huh? Shout, shout. What happened? Easter Sunday. The women come early morning. The woman say, "You're not there." Sunday, looking in, what do I find? Clothes of death you left behind. I didn't know, understand. Every power is now in your hand. You're the biggest. You're the best. Your name's going everywhere. Shout it. You're the biggest. You're the baddest. Your name's on everything. So let's shout it. You're Open the up biggest, the door. You're the baddest. So let's shout, shout, shout. You're Let the, the light biggest, shine. You're the baddest. Your name's on everything. So let's shout it. You're the biggest. You're the baddest. So let's shout. The biggest solution to the biggest problem none of us can face alone. That's right. Happy Easter. All right. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, we good to go. Anton has a little surprise for you. One second. What are you doing, Anton? I'm glad you stick around. Ah, well, I had to. Wait a minute. What is this, boys and girls? I got a little surprise for you. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, boys and girls, look what I've got. It's the real Easter Bunny, huh? Well, not really, but it is Jody. Welcome, Jody, to the Easter show for Anton. Yes, we not go get haircut. You not need haircut. You're looking very nice. You're looking like the biggest, most beautiful bunny of all, huh? Did you leave Anton his Easter egg? Maybe. Oh, boys and girls, what have you been doing, huh? Oh, Skiddo been here, huh? White as snow. Your scenes will be white, like a jetty's fire, huh? With only one thing, the biggest solution of all time. Okay, let's go. Let's see what else we got. Oh. These guys are getting out. Look, the door is open. We need to go with them, right? We need to get out of here. We need the light. How do we get the light, huh? With the one the person. Yes, the biggest solution of all time. The bigger JC. Isn't that right, Jody? You're a good little guy. Hey, you go back to where you come from, huh? Here we go. Nice. Jody, everybody, round of applause for the Jody, huh? She's so beautiful. She makes me happy. We got to be happy in these little things, right, boys and girls? Sometimes the bigger things we look forward to, we cannot do it right now, okay? So, we look forward to some big things and little things. And remember, the biggest thing of all time. Yeah, Jesus. Up from the grave. Oh, he died. He died. He died on the tree because he loved. He loved. He loved you and me. Yeah. Let's do another one though. Ready? Oh, yes, he rise. He rise. He rise from the grave because he is. He is eternal life. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. One, a two, a three. Oh, yes, he rise. He rise up from the grave because he is, he is eternal life. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's it, boys and girls. All right. So, we might have some shout out. Who have we got here today? Happy Easter to Elise in Beecroft. Thank you for joining us. Huh? Belinda. Bonjour. Anton. Anton is not French, but anyway, look it up on your website. You will find where Anton is from. Okay. Phoebe, Perth, shout out to you. Or else, also, happy Easter shout out to Katie, Melanie, and Jessica. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna get Stephen, see if I got any question. Let's go. All right. One second. Wait a minute, what is this? I don't know about this one. 
Oh, I wonder if I could enter this one. I can enter this one. Oh, yes. All right. I can do these ones. Yes. All right. This says, today is so important. Important that Jesus rose from the dead. So true, isn't it? Without the biggest rising from the dead, we don't know if the biggest problem is solved, huh? But that he is not there means we're okay. All right. Dustin, love the drawings. Thank you so much to the Dustin. This loves the chord and the music. All right. I tell Skido, he'll be very happy. Question. Anton, can we do this one? Who were the women that told Peter and John Jesus had gone? Okay, you remember this story? I think it was Mary Magdalene, okay? At least in John's Gospel, yes. So, maybe they met some other women on the way because there was more than one woman go to the tomb, I think. Check it out. Maybe in another Gospel, huh? All right. So that is only questions for now. You're doing good? I'm not doing good. I got one more thing for you, though. These things, right. First of all, you want to keep going with the story? We're going to keep going with the story next week, I think. One more episode on Peter, huh? We're going to crack it. So, this little guy, he is fantastical. He's a story, right? A story with all the pages, yeah. All the things inside. Wonderful stickies. Inside, you crack the card. You find out what the story is about. You put all the activities in the mazes, find hidden things in the picture. You get the whole Easter story in four pages. You can get it from Anton at his website, antonsantics.com. Maybe your church, huh? You could get this one. I think this has got lots in it. Oh, for little kids under five, packs of 25. So you can do this. You can go to the website. You can check it out. Uh, I just check if Stephen wants to say anything, and we shall. All right, see you later. Esteban, I think we are almost done. Maybe a question or two left. We wait and see. You got anything you want to say? Yeah, I'll say a final, final farewell and a uh, few little announcements so that people know what's happening in the coming week. Hope they've all enjoyed the show. I think it's been a good show. Jordi was a bit wiggly, but she's lovely, buddy. Yeah, good on you, mate. You look after her really well. All right. Okay, hey guys, another shout out to Kevin. Hello, thank you so much. Uh, shout out to Skido from Kevin. Awesome, thank you for joining us tonight today. Um, so, a couple of things. Anton did mention these sticker stories. Now, you know, every Easter I, I sell these on the website to churches and also families. This Easter I totally forgot about with all the virus and with work coming and going and with doing the live shows. So, I thought being Easter Sunday we'd mention these so that people know about them. Um, and these are in packs of six, I think, for families, like parents who want to get them for their kids. And there's two different versions. There's like one for preschool kids under five, and there's one for school age kids, so six to 12 year olds. These are in packs also for churches, ministries, if they want to buy a bunch and send them out to their kids, post them out, drop them around. So they've got some great stuff to do in the holidays, which aren't really holidays, are they? Um, at home while church isn't happening. So again, there's packs there, 25 stickers, 25 stories. Buy as many as you want and buy a pack for the young kids and a pack for the older kids. Cool. All right, so we're almost done here. Don't forget, grab your free video from antonsantics.com. Make sure you've signed up to the website, become part of Anton's community so that you know when the next show is and you know where we're going and uh, any special things that come up, any special updates, new videos that aren't on YouTube, that kind of stuff that we can tell you about. Um, as we're in this lockdown period, Anton hopes to keep performing live and uh, supporting you. So uh, do, do sign up and become part of the community. And think about ways that you can share the videos. Um, this video, people have asked, how can I share it? It's a live video. Well. It will be in the feed later on as a replay and you can share that. You can also go to YouTube and we put up a little bit of an edited version, uh, Anton's Antics YouTube channel, and you can find it there and uh, yeah, share those videos as well. And apart from that, yeah, join us next week. We hope to be back again uh, next week, 10 a.m., same Anton time, same Anton channel on Sunday with another episode. And it looks like we probably we will be doing one more episode on Peter and where he goes from here, because the penny hasn't quite dropped and uh, it's starting to. And maybe it hasn't quite dropped for you either. But next week, it will. So join us. But from me, Anton Scudo, 
We'll see you later. Thanks for joining us on Easter Sunday. Have a great day.